Hello, guys. Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. I hope y'all are having an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much for the amazing support on the Scrap Mechanic series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on this like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So, if you couldn't tell, I've been experimenting it a little bit. This is an advanced form of suspension that I've been trying out and I really like it and it happens to be incredibly stable. So the, the premise behind this is to actually join two separate portions of suspension with some sort of, uh, of binding because there's no weld tool. And I played around with this quite a bit and I ended up recording me putting it together um, on camera. Now, the rest of the video is gonna be kind of crazy because I'm literally just like umming and umming through the entire thought process. But I thought I'd share it with you guys since I've been getting a lot of requests on my thought process and, and basically just fooling around with stuff on camera. But first I'll demo the vehicle and then we'll get back into it. Plus it might sound kind of weird because I started out the video thinking that I was just gonna kind of do a tutorial on something and uh, I kind of just winged it all the way through. So anyway, as you can see, without any, without much of anything but a frame, the vehicle is really, really stable. Um, the engine speeds, I'll go ahead and show you all the engine speeds. The engine speeds are right up to there and I can actually change that up again. <laughs> through the cornfields and stuff. Let me change it up by one more and see. So that's basically two points away from full power. And I'm in the passenger seat. Let's try it a little bit faster, shall we? Am I stuck on the cornfield? Yeah, I think I am. I didn't think the corn would actually stop me from moving here. Let's try it right there. All right. And I'm in the passenger seat again. All right. So now we're moving a lot faster. Now again, with no frame, I mean, with nothing but the frame, it's pretty darn stable. I mean, I'm driving it pretty recklessly here. And it seems to be holding, <laughs> the holding pretty good. So yeah, I would think that the suspension's working pretty good. You can really see it going right now. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get to the meat of the video. So I'm, I've been building in another world, and I've got a good idea of what I can do here. So I'm going to bring you guys through it like I saw. And if you have a look at a diagram of a monster truck suspension, it's kind of uh, it's kind of different than regular suspension, or different than the practical way you would build suspension. And even though it's mostly aesthetic in here, I thought it would make cool for an episode uh, and maybe for a future vehicle. So let's start out by making a little frame here. And guess what we can do is make it five wide. And we're going to make it, I don't know, yay long. That should be good. And we're going to make the frame hollow so that it doesn't necessarily uh, weigh too much. I think this will be okay. And we can put the seats on the outer border of it. We can always widen it up if we really needed to, but this is plenty enough frame as far I, as far as I can see. Now, the cool thing about a monster truck frame is that it it's like there's two axles that are independently suspended with shocks. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to explain. The best thing I could do is just kind of put it together for you. So Let's do one more bore here and one more bore here. Okay, so in the front, we're actually going to need something that can control the, the, the turning. Okay, so we'll probably need to put a bearing right here and we'll put a metal block on top. And then we can actually do that and there we go. So if we hook a driver's seat to this, it'll turn left and right. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much what we need right there. Okay, so because that's going to turn left and right, we'll probably need the suspension to come down like so. Okay, and I don't even think we need those. Well, we'll put them there just in case. Okay, so now we're going to need a way for the suspension to tilt. Uh, also, let's do the back just as well, but we won't need the extra. Okay. So the suspension is going to need a tilt, and to do a tilt in any kind of uh, in any kind of normal fashion here, basically you need to apply bearings, 
or yeah you pretty much need to apply bearings because there's no angles right now so if we apply bearings and we put down two pipe corners that go here and we put two other bearings I think this is going to work this way actually I think the easiest way to do this is gonna be like this there we go <laughs> I was trying to figure out the angles and <laughs> make my brain hurt okay it's only 15 degree angles that we're going to be working with here. So anyway, all right. So those are connected. That's fine. Now we'll need the the axles to come out, so to speak. So let's do the same thing on this side, uh, but we don't have a turning mechanism for this. So that's pretty much the same. So we'll curve the pipes outward and then we'll connect the axles. All right, so the axles are good, and these are going to work independently from one another. So what we need now is a way for, you see, if we were to tilt these with a controller, which we're about to do, if we are to tilt these with a controller, what would happen is it's kind of going to go haywire. It's kind of going to, let's see if I could get this straight here. It's kind of going to go like to the wheels. If, if we just slapped a wheel onto here with a bearing and we tilted these 15 degrees down, basically the wheels would be inverted. So we really need to tilt these again. So what I'll do is kind of the same thing. I'll put, let's see here. We could probably do, we could probably, let's, let's do it the other way around. We'll do the pipes facing out just like so. And one last one. And then we'll put bearings on all of these. I think, do we, are we going to need bearings right there too? I think we will. I think we'll need bearings on the outside. Yeah, we will just to turn those. Okay. Let's put bearings on the outside first. My bad. <laughs> all right. Now we're good. Now we can actually put, we'll do just like this. Okay, very good. Now we'll actually place the other bearing and another pipe corner to stick out just like this. And two more bearings and two more pipe corners. All right, now we can actually <laughs> attach the wheels. All right, and we're going to go with the big wheels. Since it's a monster truck suspension, we'll go ahead with this. We're not going to build out the whole frame and the aesthetics and stuff like that. We're just trying to get it to where the suspension works correctly. All right, so now if I hook controllers up to here, I'm going to have to hook up two controllers here because eventually I think I'm going to have too many. It can only support up to 10. So what we'll need is we'll need to hook these two up. And then everything but the very outer ones. So we'll do two inner, three and four. And then the next one in, five and six. And these, the, the outer ones are going to be connected to engines, okay? So the first angles I'm going to need are these. These are going to need to tilt down by 15 degrees. So one and two need to go, one is 15 positive. And two is 15 negative, and it's not going to show due to the fact that it is like it's locked up on a um, uh, <laughs> what do you call that thing? A jack. And three and four are going to need to be well. Three is not gonna. Three and four is just gonna be connected, and they're gonna stay. Wait. Uh oh. They changed. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't matter. So let's see. Three and six just need to be connected. It doesn't matter exactly what their positions are. Now five is going to need to go 15 degrees blue. Five, 15 degrees blue. And six, I mean four, I'm sorry, is going to know, go 15 degrees pink. This will make sense in a minute. Six is 15 degrees pink. 
All right. So basically, when I get this off the jack, the blue axles are going to go down, and this is going to pivot up. So the wheels will actually sit out right, but the frame will be supported by two angled brackets, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I hope it does. Now, instead, I, did, I just did this for the aesthetic, just to show you guys where it'd be at. The last but not least, you need to add shocks to it. So we're going to put a metal block on the outside here instead of the wheel, and we're going to put two more of these. And then I'm going to add shocks. Uh, let's see. Let's put the wheel first. I'm going to take these off and do the same thing. And then I can change out my wheel for the other ports that I need. Um, I'm sorry. Block, bearing, and wheel. All right, now I'll take the wheel away and I'll add a shock. We need the long shocks. There we go, right there. All right, and we'll put the shocks on all of these for the suspension. Now, very tricky part right here. The crazy thing about this whole deal is you basically have to have them all connect to one another. Now, so far, this is all one moving part, So, but we can't weld anything. So it's really weird what you have to do, but what we're going to do here is, I think I'm gonna put these together. <sighs> let's see how I'm gonna do this. So let's put a pipe top right here and a pipe top right here. Now, to connect them is the tricky part. See, you can't you can't put the two blocks together. You can't. There's no welding tool in yet, so we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. What I think I'm gonna do is kind of make a joint. So let's see. If we were to go inside here, okay, and then I could possibly put two of these. All right. Now that sticks out. Actually, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I'll come up with this. All right. Now, if I were to connect, let's see. Actually, what we should do right here is make it a little bit more obvious. Let's do one of these, these pipe connectors. That should work good. I'm going to need kind of need all of this steel. Okay, we can take away the controller. All right, so we'll put, we could put this actually, and then we'll put one of these, and then we'll put, this is the pipe connector, right? No, the pipe connector is here. There we go. All right, so we need to wrap this around. So we'll do like this, and like this. like this and like this. All right, so it's starting to kind of become <laughs> a knot kind of. Okay, so we'll bring this down and bring this in and bring this down and bring it in. I feel like I'm trying to announce like the hokey pokey dance. All right, and these two can just come across like this. And this is pretty good. All right, and these we need to lock this up somehow. So what I'll probably do is let's lock it from the top, just like that. And we can put pipes like that. Then on top again, I need to add just a couple things high here. Just like that. Gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't want to break my frame. Okay, and these go over the bag just like so. And that's locked up, guys. <laughs> that is locked up. All right. This is going to be weird when it starts to flex. Hopefully, 
the shocks kind of do what they're supposed to do. If not, it's going to be really messy. Actually, come to think of it, you guys, I should have probably put bearings right here. So <laughs> I'll probably need to do that. Hold on just a second. Let's put let's put a bearing right here. Am I going to need a bearing right there? I may. We'll see what happens. Let me see. If I take this off. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to need a bearing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need bearings right there because it wanted to bind up. <laughs> okay. So, I, don't, I think I might have to redo some of this now. Okay. Uh, the bearing would need to go on the opposite side. The bearing would need to go like right inside there and you see those <laughs> those aren't connected anymore so we're gonna actually have to take these off unfortunately dang it <laughs> kind of messed up there all right that's okay that stuff will knock off and we'll just redo the uh, the knot there. Okay, so these are going to definitely need to turn. Uh, let's see. We also are going to need to turn... Wait. No, are we going to need that right here too? I think we are. I think we... Yeah, because these are going to need to turn as well. These are going to need to tilt as well. All right, so... Sheesh, how do we do this? We would need... Just like that. Alright. Now we would put a bearing. Is this how it's going to go? I think so. Alright. Put one more bracket. I think we got it right this time. <laughs> I hope so, at least. Okay, does this go inside there? Yeah. Alright, now if I were to add these pipes, I could add the long ones just to kind of save some trouble here. Alright, and now I'll wrap around like this. Wrong way. There we go. Sweet. Uh, we can actually use one more, huh? No, we could have went. We could have went with the uh, the curved. All right. <laughs> there we go. I just had to push it out some now. If I do take this off, there we go. It will. Actually, did I have this right? What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> hold on. It's about to start flipping out. It's about to flip. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, <laughs> let's figure out what we had wrong here. Okay, so the angles. Why did this not want to flex? I'm guessing... I know why this happened. Let's see. Okay, so these were both going like that. Ah, that didn't want to... Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That would need to be... Is that... Oh, yeah, it is. It is. And those should flex just right. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't want to flex correctly. So that should work. Five may actually not even need to be connected here because they could just flex independently. And so can four. So these would just need to go where they need to go. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> it's still kind of tilted in, but it does work. And as you can see, it binds up at the top like it's supposed to. <laughs> okay. Very, very interesting here. Uh, as far as this goes, I think I'm just going to make this 
I think I'm gonna make it easy on myself and connect these two with probably just onto the frame like this. So let's see here. These can go backward. I'm gonna have to put this on the jack again. And we'll put, we'll connect this one. Oh wait, no, wrong one. We'll, <laughs> we'll connect this and this. Is that, is that correct? No, still the wrong one. All right, those two seem to be doing what they're supposed to do. And this is gonna need to straighten out. And this is gonna need to straighten out. Okay, these both need to sit up. Just like that, I guess. And then these need to attach straight up as well. All right, is that? <laughs> I think that's everything now. All right, so we'll come out. We'll come out just like this, and we need to connect these. Just kind of like we did the other one. But this is going to be a little bit differently. Okay, so they're going to line up right on top of here. There we go, and then I'm gonna point these down. Down. And we'll bring, let's see, is that all right? Yeah, that works, that works, that works, okay. Really, I should have these hooked to springs, most likely, huh? Okay. So, if that compresses, that should be pretty good. I am going to need to make sure that they don't get out of that socket. Like so. Just like that. I don't know if that's going to work too well, but we'll try it. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, wait, it's already off the thing. Okay, good. So, that works. Let's try to install the driver's seat now. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I think it's gonna work. Okay, driver's seat. Let's see here. Where are you, driver's seat? We'll put a driver's seat and a passenger seat. And the driver's seat will be here passenger seat will be here okay now we're gonna need engines as well which we do have a spot back here for engines and let's hook up the engines to the seat first and also the seat has to connect to that bearing there and then we're going to connect the engines to the wheels so there there and there there now all the are they all facing the correct way this one is not and this one is not okay now we can change the power on the engines we'll go three four from the top that should work out four from the top and now we should be able to turn. And there is the advanced suspension. <laughs> I know it was kind of crazy getting to this point, but as you can see, the suspension. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see that suspension trying to come out? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute here. So let's see. How would we connect this? I guess what we'll have to do is change number five to 
connect to there that should keep it in yeah and that's where the other one was too so i suppose with some welding you can probably do this without um tensioning everything from the controller but for the most part this is pretty darn good and as you can see the back the back suspension is really really neat <laughs> it flexes all as one piece well, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed me doing and figuring on camera. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Tell me there is a bunch of pearls in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Now, you see, now I'm doing it right, ladies and gentlemen.